Hello, so our project is basically to detect when the washing machine is uh, in use or not in use. And the way we measure it is by putting a light sensor at the panel, the light panel of the washing machine. We know that when it's in use, uh, there will be a light, but when it's not in use, uh, there will be no light. So that's why our sensor circuit here consists of a digital output light sensor which is paired up with an ESP8266 to connect it to the internet via Wi-Fi. So uh, just to give a brief overview of the sensor, the sensor here, uh, this is the the actual light sensor the rest is just a module for him uh, which we can twitch to alter the sensitivity with a potential meter here so the important LED indicators here is the VCC which is the to tell me when the this sensor is powered on and the more important one is the DO the digital output uh, indicator. Uh, this tells me that uh, when it's bright, uh, this thing is exposed to light. Uh, this thing will light up. So when there is light, uh, this thing will light up. But when it's dark, means that this uh, top sensor here is covered. As you can see, the digital output uh, turns off. So this is what we need to know uh, for using this sensor. So for now, I'll proceed to showing the how this sensor has already been linked to the to the web server uh, via Wi-Fi la, and HTTP uh, requests. So I can see I create I just a uh, website for the sensor. Uh, for the web server of the sensor, uh, this 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 is the Flask uh, server. I just created a simple HTML to uh, visualize uh, what our dashboard uh, application will look like. So as you can see, the box the box here is basically to indicate washing machine uh, at this location, and we update it at this time. As you can see, the time here is like morning thing because uh, when you deploy in Heroku uh, Heroku here uh, it's hosted at like Virginia or something I think I'll need to change to KL uh, Malaysia time zone but uh, that's another thing for now uh, so let's show you how it works when now the light sensor is on right there will be a delay of like let's say 5 seconds around 5 seconds and the thing will light up yeah and when I turn it off I, I make it dark it takes around like 5 seconds and the thing will turn off okay when it's off it's like grey to me it shows it's idle when it's orange uh, we know that the washing machine is in use it's busy Five seconds. Okay. So all of this is work by uh, in behind the scenes. I'll show you what happened behind the scenes. Uh, it's basically the ESP. Here's the serial monitor for the ESP eight two six six. It's actually uh, measuring when it's dark or it's or it's bright. He'll print out the status code. The HTTP status code, which 200 means the message was sent, and then he'll print out that he actually sent the data to the server. So on the server side, on the server side, which is Heroku, you can see that during these times, uh, there were many post requests that has been made. Uh, uh, just to highlight where you should be focusing on, there's a post request here, post request here, post request here. The other extra information are just some uh, uh, 
lock information that I want to print out just to know that the code is functioning as planned. So yeah, that's how it works. That's the demo. Uh, basically, this guy getting the sensor reading and this guy connecting the Wi-Fi uh, and then connecting to the server the server URL and then sending the post request. And at the server side, uh, the Heroku hosts the Flask application and in the Flask uh, program, we made uh, we catch the data, we catch the post request and then we update uh, the, ver the update the variable to dynam dynamically update this HTML element. So I don't have to always uh, refresh the page just to show that the thing is uh, uh, working, is updating the with the sensor reading. So there you have it. Thank you.